Good day YouTube. This is just a quick unscripted review or look at the latest release of Linux Mint 19, code name Tessa, on the desktop environment XFCE. F XFCE, quite a popular one. Uh, in fact, a lot of people seem to use it on my channel. It is quite lightweight. I can understand the usage there. At a glance, it actually looks quite neat and clean as well. In fact, in, for whatever reason, I, I seem to prefer this over the uh, Linux Mint Mate edition, which is a little bit more messy, a little bit more... Uh, cumbersome I suppose there but uh, let's just take a look at a few quick things here and there so let's have a look at the file manager for instance and see what it's working with there we'll find it's actually using the Thuna 1.6.x uh, file manager system there which is probably one of the more lighter weight file managers that that I know around it's uh it's just yeah it's simple it, it looks good it does everything you want it to do that's great that's good uh, the uh, let's have a look at the the kernel as well so for instance if we were to type in the kernel shop there we'll see that we're actually running with a 4.15 uh, kernel which is it's not too bad that's good it's not the latest and greatest obviously but it is uh, Linux Mint is known for using slightly older kernels just purely because they like to uh, I guess keep things a little bit more stable but you've always got the option to update the kernel in the uh, in the update manager which is here which loaded pretty fast there too and uh, I guess last but not least let's have a quick look at the uh, the the RAM usage which is something that you'll expect here from the XFCE edition of Linux Mint 19.1 only uses about 400 uh, mega of RAM on boot up and have a few really basic applications open there so that's really nice to see as well so just uh, yeah just thought I'd give you guys just a super simple clean look at the latest release of Linux Mint 19 uh, codename Tessa on the XFCE uh, desktop environment. So cheers guys, hope you've enjoyed.